66 or 7? 67, yeah, they're hard to tell apart. This is a 67 Chevy 2, um, kind of Detroit speed style, a little bit of road race influence into it. Uh, very functional, but a lot of detail in it. And um, uh, did it for a customer in Scottsdale that plans to road race the car too, so it's it'll back it up. That is awesome. I love the fact that you can build cars for people who aren't afraid to get them dirty and, and who knows what on the track. Yeah, no, we'll, uh, the car is, you know, here for SEMA. We'll put uh, about 500 miles on it, take it to the track, shake it down, give him the setup sheets for it, and um, turn him loose next season. So it'll be fun to watch it go. Now, this car has, obviously, a ton of subtle modifications. I see the drip rails are shaved, the flush glass, the hyper-smooth body lines and the fit, and you still have some decent amount of stock-appearing trim. Yeah, you know, it's a mix. It's a mix of kind of the old and the new. It's flush-mounted glass, uh, no vent windows that's been taken out with some modern-style mirrors, um, fixed-back glass, uh, real-deal carbon hood and deck lid, a lot of carbon work in the car. And um, like I said, it's it's fairly light. It still has a lot of creature comforts with the air conditioning and stereo and everything you'd want to drive down the highway, too. What's uh, under the hood and for driveline? Whose stuff did you use? Yeah, it's a, a wet sump LS7 uh, with the Brodex heads and all uh, like a Holly Dominator uh, MSD intake. It's a carbon fiber in cold air intake that we made that pulls air from the base of the cowl. And um, Bowler six speed transmission and uh, has our Detroit speed front clip and Detroit speed mini tubs and quadrilink link and things like that to, to get it to sit where we want it and, and to handle where it needs to be. Well, I know performance is paramount when you're got a car with a Detroit Speed sticker on it. Uh, I noticed that it was fairly quiet coming up the ramp. Yeah, it is. You know, it's got a set of uh, the Hooker uh, Blackheart, you know, mufflers on it, all stainless steel, and, and uh, it's no drone to it going down the highway. And uh, you get close to the wide open throttle, it has a pretty good tone to it. But, you know, going down the highway, it's comfortable and smooth. I can imagine. Uh, so you mentioned he's going to do possibly a little road racing. Is this also going to be a weekend cruiser to get uh, coffee and donuts? No, it absolutely will. He has a great car collection, but uh, the goal for the car will be to compete at a lot of uh, autocrosses and the, and the one lap of America next year that takes place. It's kind of drag week for, uh, for road racers. You know, you leave and go two road courses each day. You drive all night and drive all day in between the road courses. And um, there's no support vehicles, so it actually has a trailer hitch. And uh, you can put supplies and spares and tools in the trailer and go to the next track. Yeah, and it's fun to be an exhibitor and a, a builder and a participant. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks for being here. And good luck and uh, have a fun week, everybody. Thank you, Kyle. Take it away, Mr. Otto.